to my channel in today's video i will show you guys how to make these super cute fingerless gloves with ribbons on it these are not only easy but also quick to make they only took about an hour for me to finish maybe i'm a fast crocheter but anyway you should try these and the material i use cost only a dollar so they are not expensive to make so let's get started for these gloves, you will need a ball of cotton yarn in beige and pink color or you can use any color you want a 4mm crochet hook scissors and darning needle First, let's make a slip knot Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this and then remove the loop from your fingers put the yarn down and then pull the yarn up then insert your hook into the loop and let's make chains. Make 12 chains. If you want longer, please add more chains. Now we are making the ribbon part for your wrist. If you want longer for the ribbon part, please add more chains. But now I will stop here and start the first row. To start the first row, skip two chains and then make a half double crochet into the third chain. To make half double crochet, yarn over and insert your hook into the third chain. Then pull the yarn and now you got three loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now you got one half double crochet. Repeat making half double crochet in each chain. You will get 10 half double crochet in total. Now to start another row, chain 2 and turn your work. In this row, you have to make back loop only half double crochet in each stitch. To make back loop only half double crochet, you need to insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch and then pull the yarn to make half double crochet. Repeat making back loop only half double crochet until you reach the end you will get 10 back loop only half double crochet in total Whenever you start a new row, always chain 2 and turn your work. Then repeat making back loop only half double crochet into each stitch. Repeat this back loop only half double crochet until you can wear this ribbon part around your wrist. I make 15 rows in total. You can wear it on your wrist like this to check the length of the ribbon part. And if you are satisfied with the length, then now we were start sewing the two sides together actually this is not sewing we will crochet the two sides together to crochet insert the hook into the other side then pull the loop and insert your hook into two loops one from this side and next one from the other side then the yarn and make a slip stitch repeat making slip stitch into two loops until you reach the end this is sewing using crochet hook but not the darning needle
Now the part for the wrist is finished, so let's start making for the hand. Chain two, and then make half double crochet into every space you see. There are no particular spaces to crochet, so you have to make half double crochet into every space you see. When you reach the start, make a slip stitch at chain 2. And then chain 2 to start a new row. Then make half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the start again. When you reach the start, always slip stitch at chain 2 space, then to start a new row, chain 2 again. Also this row, repeat making half double crochet into each stitch. Repeat making half double crochet rows for more 5 rows. So there will be 8 half double crochet rows above the ribbon part. After 8 rows, you will get like this. And now, again, repeat making half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the folded part. The folded part is here. Before you reach the folded part, leave 3 stitches. Now, there are only 3 stitches left before the folded part and we will leave a space for the temp so to leave the space for the temp chain 3 and then skip 6 stitches and make a half double crochet into the 7th stitch After that, turn to the back side and then continue making half double crochet until you reach the start. And when you reach the start, make half double crochet into each stitch for another row until you reach the chain 3 space. Now I reach the chain 3 space and I will do one half double crochet into each chain so you will get 3 half double crochet on the chain space. After that, continue making half double crochet like you did on the other rows and then make more half double crochet rows for 3 times. You can wear it like this to check the length and if you want 
longer and if you want to cover your fingers more then you can add more half double crochet rows but now I will stop here so my gloves have 13 half double crochet rows in total and now let's end this chain one and cut the yarn now using your dandy needle or the crochet hook hide the yarn inside the gloves For the ribbon, make a slip knot and make 60 chains. You can use any kinds of yarn you want or you can even use your leftover yarn. Because this doesn't take much yarn, you only need to make 60 chains and that is finished. If you have mohair yarn, then you can use it for the ribbon. And the mohair ribbon is really trendy in everywhere. Not only in TikTok but also in Instagram, Pinterest, and I guess it is everywhere. <laughs> After 60 chains, cut the yarn and make a knot at each end. Then cut it near the knot so that the ends look tidy. Now let's put the ribbon on the gloves. Grab your crochet hook and then attach the ribbon onto the gloves at anywhere you like. And after that, tie to get a ribbon. If you find this tutorial useful and easy to follow then don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel so then I can make more of like these crochet tutorials in the future. And if you have a hard time following my crochet tutorial then you can leave a comment down below and I will help you. So see ya!